All right, we're good. Uh, let me lower my music really quick, actually. Realize it's kind of high. There we go. Now I can hear myself. <laughs> my audio levels are always not balanced correctly when I'm using uh, my headphones instead of my AirPods. But either way, uh, what's up, guys? Um, we're just doing some sub analysis between Little Mitts and Kells. Uh, exclamation point sub analysis if you want to know about that. But either way, let's get into it. Um, so it's Fox Puff. Good luck. Funnily enough, it's the matchup that, like, I was just, uh... <laughs> I I've been, like, kind of brainstorming. Not brainstorming, but, like, thinking a lot about. Uh, obviously, Battlefield starts pretty standard. I don't really think there's anything issue with that. Blue Puff, it's gotta go. It's gotta go. You gotta go... You gotta go, uh, H-Box Puff, Neutral Puff, or Crown Puff. It's, it's key. No, but <laughs> in all seriousness, <laughs> let's get into it. Okay, so I I definitely have noticed like a few like like okay, so it was weird when I was watching this first talk because I saw. Like, I mean, I obviously see the five list grabs or whatever, but this situation right here was the weird one. Because, like, I feel like if you're going to go for the risk-reward kind of grabs like that, you have to go for a grab like that, especially against Drill. I think uh, that's, like, the only really strong way to shield grab uh, Fox, for sure, uh, taking the risk-reward. In this position, I would have probably gone for an up here instead of a shield grab. Because... You can kind of, uh, I think most of the time foxes won't mess up here. They'll probably either dash dance on the platform or do something else. Like, uh, he just tried to punish that with a drill, which I do like this grab, but didn't really work, uh, unfortunately. Generally, when fox at low percent, I mean, throwing out grabs good, I guess, but like, I don't know. It's, it's hard because at the same time, we don't want to just like give fox free damage. Again, another blade dash back grab uh, on drill just didn't work. Uh, you can also, I don't know, I kind of like just holding shield against drill and then kind of seeing what they do after. It's a really interesting uh, smash. I can't tell how much of uh, these shield grabs are like auto pallet versus um versus like intentional because like I'm, I'm intentional in the way of you're predicting your opponent to do something. That was a nice smash, yeah, but. I feel like that's a problem I have. I mean, because you got the power shield, you couldn't shield grab that. But generally, I think I don't think you should shield grab uh, off smash on shield. I I would have wave dash as shield grabbed because if you if you're late on the wave dash grab timing, they're gonna shield anyways. So sometimes they'll do the maniac like off smash twice in place in that situation. But that is just that'd be crazy if you did it there. Okay, yeah, see, that's those are the kinds of the shield grabs that if you're going to go for them, you definitely want to do it on those kinds of drills. When they're doing a full hop drill like that, it's pretty hard for them to time it correctly. And uh, especially on the back of your shield, uh, it's pretty hard for them to uh, do it correctly. <laughs> that's that really funny. I'm surprised that uh, Sync Hitbox actually worked all the way up there. That's pretty cute. I don't really like, uh, okay, let me try and explain why I, I'm, I'm like getting weirded out at the ledge. I, there's just something about, okay, I like this. This snare doesn't really make sense. I feel like if you put it into an, like a disadvantage, disadvantageous position, like immediately, uh, this early on the ledge, like Fox has invincibility, yeah. And like you die to back air, of course, and up tilt, but at the same time you're puffed, so. I feel like being in this position is just never like good when they, they have invincibility. Cause Fox has so many ways to beat this. I don't know why you weren't for shine there. I would have done a rising back air if I was Fox, but whatever. Uh you do this back air a lot, I noticed at the ledge. I think he punished for you punished it for you last stock when you did the shine. But not really sure what this backwards scenario is, but I guess it kinda worked. I don't know, I'll just be I'll just be a little bit careful uh, about doing those backwards uh, backwards. 
Okay. Obviously, RTC rest, but you can't, you know. RTC rest isn't always uh, easy, for sure. See, I think uh, one thing I've been noticing in my own play is trying to get rid of autopilot moves. My autopilot in most matchups is, especially against Fox, is forward smash, uh, which is pretty funny because I usually, I used to not do forward smashes at all, but now it's pretty a part of my neutral. I noticed that you do an autopilot, like, wave dash back grab. Which isn't really like covering much. I think the mo majority of the time you want to do way dash back grab is when you're predicting Fox to approach you on the ground. On the ground, usually for me, uh, especially with a short hop aerial like a nair. That's most of the times where I get my way dash back grabs. But I feel like a lot of times he just he's just full hopping around the platform and do a way dash back grab, and it's just not gonna really work. I like up airs at low damage for sure. But I think you can get you can get more off these up airs. They obviously don't knock down, but you could definitely try and shark more. Okay. Uh, definitely watch out for doing fairs when like trying to get down for an up air, because most of the time they will just try and up air you again, and a lot of the times the fair will just trade with the up air. It's like very in your instinct to just fair to try and cover your landing, but a lot of the times it honestly just hurts you a lot of the time too. So you just got to make sure that. When you're doing a fair, it's for the right reason. Okay. I don't like this top platform play. I think it's really not good. I think it's like, if you're chasing Fox to the top platform, I mean, or Falco even, uh, you're definitely put in a position where you're going to get sharks with a full hop back air. Then you have to come down with even less jumps because uh, you're so high up. And it's just like, it's just not a position I don't think you should really force. Especially when you, when you don't have, uh, when you have the lead for sure. Like, I don't really see a reason to go to the top platform. That was a good grab. Uh, and that position is so annoying. I hate when they do this uh, full hop air dodge. It's, like, really frustrating to beat. Uh, but, you, I mean, you have the right idea, I think. But, I don't know. It's just unlucky. I feel like you don't do Nair nearly as much as you probably should at low damage, but uh, yeah, okay, so see, that was what I was talking about, the backwards jump. Uh, let's go do it again. I hate how Twitch VODs don't let you rewind like a couple seconds back. They make you do like 10 seconds or whatever, but see, this backwards jump is what I was talking about earlier where he punished you with the shine. This time he, he did react to the jump and punish you with shine. So I, I don't know. I would either... I would sing regrab ledge there, especially since Fox is all the way over here, so you should be able to be fine. But yeah, that is just unfortunate. I think you're dead off this too. Oh wow, he didn't kill you. That was a crazy dash check. I don't think I would have gone for it. That was nice. That was pretty cool. Uh, yeah. But mainly that game, it was mostly just the recovery for sure, and um, the. The autopilot grabs, I think, are pretty key. Also, like, yeah, like what I was saying about Nair, <clears throat> I don't think Nair is the great at high damage, which is nice that you aren't using it there. But when Fox had low damage, I feel like you were just kind of just, uh, well, you were throwing out grabs, obviously, but you could have just, like, replaced a lot of those grabs with Nair. Especially since you like to be in the air so much, I feel like you would benefit a lot if you use Nair more. Uh, on stages like FD, though, you have to watch out for your usage of Nair, though, because it is pretty easy to punish landings on FD. Probably Stadium 2, but I think FD is a lot easier because there's no platforms. Or Fox. Overall, not bad start, though. FD. Um, I, I don't have a lot to say about FD. I think it's really, really hard uh, when the Fox is good. Uh, when the Fox isn't, like, you know, all the way up there, it's not that good, but... I think it's like worse than Stadium or Yoshi's if the Fox is like low to mid level. But if they're like on that top level kind of grind, the FD is really hard. I think uh, well, I'm gonna pick up Icy's. For, I'm picking up Icy's for FD and probably Stadium too, especially if we go back to uh, Unfrozen Stadium because that that was the worst. But generally on FD, you have to just make sure that you're mixing up where you land, where you land on the stage, where you land on the edge. And you also want to abuse the corner a lot when you have the lead, for sure. 
Uh, force Fox into this position where they keep on laser lasering you, and then you can kind of like go in and punish their lasers. Obviously, easier said than done. Yeah, another like I don't know the way you get back to stage is really weird. Use a lot of uh, at mid level FD is uh, yeah I would say mid to like mid to low level. Uh, I would say it is uh, worse for Fox, just because I think the Fox isn't disciplined enough to play FD correctly. And they're not going to be as good. They're not going to be confident in uh, punishing like landings for sure. Because I would say definitely when I was bad, and when I was like way worse, I think FD was really easy to win on. Like every time a fox would take me to FD at locals, I'd be like, "Let's go, dude." Uh, but definitely when I got to the level where I was like uh, top three in every local, I would play Churz or Chem or Slug on FD. And I would just get like three or four socked, and I was just like, this is so hard. <laughs> I just think it's like way worse than Pokemon, for sure. It also doesn't help them. Oh, what the? That, that crap is ridiculous. Really cool um, sync turnaround grab ledge. That was nice. I'll watch the sequence again, because I think that was. It's always good to highlight we're doing well. That was nice. I don't really think that drill is good, because in my head, that doesn't cover the drill. I don't think that drill was, was good. I think you should have just held ledge and just kept doing it. Cause I don't think that covers the, the like this this side B height. So you do this drill, Fox might even be able to shine you here. If they dash, eh, it's close probably. Depends on how you uh, space your drill, I guess. On uh, up air, you really should not try and shield grab up air. I think you should definitely try and do wave dash out of shield grab up air. I uh, like turn around grab, or you should do I'll smash out of shield, depending on percentage. Or just roll, but roll is a little bit dicey. That's what I was talking about with Nair on FD. It's not that good, for sure. I like FD versus Fox, and I was wondering why they always said it was bad. Yeah, it's it's definitely uh, it's definitely really it's 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 like very linear. Uh, the worse you are, for sure. I mean, it's linear all the time, but I think it's really easy to abuse. Uh, like Fox is messing up tech skill on FD, for sure. Interesting or uh, interesting fair choice, but you're dead. Oh, dude, that sucks. All right, let me talk. Let me let me talk about this edge guard because I don't I didn't like it at all. But it was just it was really weird. So you went for a reverse. You went for a weak fair here to make sure you didn't wall tech. Okay, I like I like the start here. But okay, so <laughs> let me do it again. What well, is good uh, counter play to the Jigglypoke uh, up air? Well, I'll deal with the Jigglypoke. Well, I would say that you can still do the Wave Rush Shadow Shield grab. Uh, also, you can probably Light Shield, right? I don't know. Uh, Jigglypoke's obviously harder, but. And yeah, angle your shield, but then I feel like it's. <laughs> it's a little bit weird because you're focusing on ang angling your shield and you're not like focusing on everything else. That's, that's, that's what I would do in my head. Because I feel like if I put an effort to angle my shield, then I'm not focusing on reacting to other things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this vlog, I'll, I'll either upload it on YouTube. I haven't done that for any of my other vlog reviews yet, but if people like that, I might do that. Uh, but either way, the Twitch vlog will be available too. All right, back to <laughs> back to the edge guard. <laughs> All right, so here I would do definitely. Um, I would definitely do a, f uh, a pound here. I think that edge guarding with pounds better. I would also do a uh, dare from ledge. I think that dare you did on the side B over here, the last stock was really cool. I think it's better here because if you do a dare, it sets up for a better edge guard. Same with pound as well. I think that pounds probably. I think pounds is the best because the only way they beat that is wall tech side B, but I don't think at this height, especially if you pounded out here earlier, I don't think you could have. Uh, Actually, he might have been able to grab ledge, so maybe drill is the best option here to reset. Uh, I miss players and some cool details about them, so I have to talk about other players. Uh, uh, anything you always wish commentators mentioned about you? <laughs> that is a hard question to answer. Ah, <laughs> uh, dude, you got when when you have like this situation though. I like the idea for the edge guard. I think you should have just committed on uh, killing Fox. I, it is kind of Fox privilege that he lived, but like, you definitely should have just committed. Because you were already dead no matter what there. It could literally be anything. 
Uh, if you do, okay, let me, let me show, let me show the entirety of the, all right, so if you're puff right here, and then you go all the way to the corner with your rollout and live, and then roll out again against Fox, that's that, all right, against any character, really. All right, this is the Dawson angle, the dangle, as I would like to call it, for rollout. Yeah, that's a good one. Ooh, <laughs> forward tilt. Really interesting uh, how this fox isn't really taking advantage of you at low damage, I think. Ooh, really weird situation there. Okay, a little bit of spaghetti here, just scrambling. Oh no. I do not like approaching forward air at all versus fox. I think it's really bad. I think that if you're gonna do a forward air, you should do the uh, full hop fade back one. Cause then it's it's actually pretty nice on FD I feel, cause it's it's a lot harder to punish than um, Nair personally. Do not think that approaching forward air was that strong. I think you could have used um, I'll smash a shield a few times to stock to definitely punish Fox. Ooh, Could that shield pick. I feel, I feel like Kel should just be beating you a lot harder on FD. I'm just noticing so much how much she's messing up. Okay. Oh, dude, if you did wait, I should she'll grab here instead of the forwarder. I mean, instead of just like trying to jump and like punish his landing with an aerial, which I, it looked like you were kind of doing. It would have been cool. Yeah, I think he just shield picked. If they jab your shield like that, uh, you can shield grab jab, kind of. It's a little bit weird. It's you have to like obviously be ready for the jab because you can't just like shield grab it like right away. But yeah, I don't know, it's a little bit weird, dude. If any of these were grabs or forward smashes, Fox would be dead like three times ago. So I think I would definitely try and pick up Wade Dash Shadow Shield, uh, forward smash or grab. Uh, again, it was, it was like another situation. I feel like okay, interesting edge guard worked out though. I feel like you're not really, you haven't done anything to sock. I know that sounds really dumb, but like, I definitely feel that way in neutral sometimes where I just like kind of just like space around. I'm not really like threatening anything. What kind of punish? Yeah. What kind of response? Thanks, all. Uh, drill from ledge is pretty bad, I will say. I don't think that, drill from ledge is good if Fox is right here. And you do the auto cancel one, then you can kind of do like a, a pseudo pseudo grab where you do auto cancel drill into grab. It's pretty funny, but yeah, uh, let's go to the next game. But yeah, literally that game, I think that uh, besides like really just the on shield interactions were the main thing I was noticing that were not that great. And obviously, you know, trading with the Firefox would have been better, but I don't know. It, it, that wasn't a bad FD game by any means. I think I was fine. Where are we gonna go, Dreamman? Fountain? Why? <laughs> Why? I think that especially when a fox is not showing that much like prowess on FD, I think you should 100% go Dreamman. Okay. Okay, I like the usage of Nair now. Nair is bad on shield, but like besides that, <laughs> I know that's stupid. I oh, the one time you use Nair, it's it's bad, <laughs> but I do like the uses of Nair. Okay. Wait, how do you get that grab? They just grab and then whiff grab. Okay, I don't know why you grabbed the first time. I think I would, like I said earlier about the autopilot grabs. I would just look into this and like really think about why you're grabbing before you actually grab. Uh, I guess you just double grab and it worked. That's the H box. Wow, you died at 47. Unlucky. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Up air? Yes. Nice. Oh, why? You did almost everything perfectly. <laughs> Dude, ah, oh, dude, I love this backer up air. This is this is my favorite thing to do against Fox and Falco. 
Um, I probably would have just not gone back to stage because you knew that he was going to be in hitstone no matter what. Uh, you couldn't really react to, you couldn't really punish the side B, I think. If he instant side beat after the up air, I think you couldn't even punish it anyways. So I would definitely just stayed out here. But, dude, this forward air was, the first forward air was really good. The second one, when you know that Fox has nothing, there's no jumps, there's no nothing, you just have to just, like, follow him again. Because, like, I feel like this is, this forward air was, like, expecting a jump. It wasn't really expecting, like, Fox, like, you weren't, like, following Fox trajectory, I think. That's why you missed. That was a good tech, though. Ugh. Oh, man. Kells has decided to go to stage now. It's so unlucky. Okay. Let's see if we get enough knockdown. Oh, no. Oh, weird scramble. I'm not even sure. I feel like, again, especially when a character like Fox is rolling, you need to punish this roll pretty hard with the forward smash or wrist. I guess you could grab it, too, but I think that's, like... Not as good, for sure. Okay. Oh, no. See, see, did you see the risk-reward uh, grab there on the first one? I'll call them risk-reward grabs, because honestly, that's what really what they are. Like, he did a grab on this drill, because he expected him to mess up, which I think is, like, fine. But honestly, at 88%, when you have low damage like this, you definitely want to abuse yourself more. So I wouldn't have probably gone for this uh, at all. Uh, this one, I guess, was just like another kind of just like... You see drill... I think in your brain, you see drill and you just want to grab it. Which like is is valid, for sure. But you can't just like grab every drill, if that makes sense. Okay, good fair. Oh man. I feel like you stay on stage too much. Uh, when I'm charging Fox. I think a lot of these times you could have gone out there and just hit him. Let's see this one. Yeah, like this one, I would have either gone to ledge uh, and then back aired here. Or I would have just kept... I would have just gone out because I knew that he was either going to jump side B uh, or he was going to go down low. So. Okay, let's see how you do this one. I should probably do some kind of... I, I just grabbed the ledge normally because <laughs> I'm really dumb. I should do like a sing re grab or a uh, where you just back grab ledge more. Ooh. Yeah, you do a lot of these double grabs, uh, especially when you whiff, when you whiff one, you do usually two more at least, at least one more. I mean, let's just say. Ooh, good good uh, pressure from Kels. It's pretty hard to uh, beat for sure. To avoid that though, I would have either rolled away pretty uh, early in that sequence where I would have just done the way dash out of shield if they do another like bad aerial I mean quote unquote bad aerial like an area that you can punish I would have just grabbed it or S smashed it but honestly you could just reset neutral and then just like get out of the scenario because you don't like when foxes are vibing on you because like when foxes are vibing that's when they can win the matchup really well Ooh, good up air oh pretty good opportunity for a uh, tech chase rest especially when the platform is that low I'd have either done a check chase or I'd say another up air and then then followed up into a rest because the other up air kind of is easy to do. Yeah, I I think SDIing and grabbing is good too, uh, but it's a little bit I think it's a little bit scarier in my head because I feel like if you just reset neutral like because like you should like I don't know because sometimes it's hard to say I guess if they're you know their drill is gonna be bad. Then uh, SDI is pretty good. Ooh, okay. Surprised you didn't live there. All right, we got a last stock situation. You guys all know what's going on in every puff's head right here. Let's grab. So to mix that up, I would honestly just not grab. <laughs> that sounds so stupid, but I feel like you don't use enough of um, auto cancel aerials like. Um, uh, short hop back air for sure in neutral in this scenario when fox is at low damage especially below um below like 35 i think i think it's 35 where uh back air and fair knockdown could be wrong about that percent but pretty sure it's 35 uh yeah before 35 i like to just like do a lot of very safe forward airs like the fade back forward airs uh, especially from full hop or do you like do the uh short hop auto cancel back airs and then um I guess Nair too, but it's still not like 
it's not really safe because they can just like if they read it they can either up tilt it or they can uh try and dash grab your landing things like that but i can definitely oh that's see that was not like that was like an approaching forward air, which is what i was trying to say is bad uh the problem with the uh, approaching forward air like this is that either they're gonna just strike you on the ground with a full hop back air because that's just broken against it, or they're just going to wait it out because it's not going to do anything. Like in terms of uh, knocking them down at zero. So if you just did like a fade back one, got some damage, got a knockdown, could have maybe won that game. Obviously, you know, going for grabs good too. Oh, that's a set. Oh, that makes sense why it was on, uh, it was down Dreamland. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I was really confused why it wasn't on Dreamland. Wait, was it, was that? I'm so confused. I thought that was, oh no, it isn't the set. Here we are. I, I thought I was about to say. I thought I was like, "How do we go to FD in a best of three? That makes more sense now. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, we got Dreamland this time. I think this was definitely the correct pick the first time. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you have this thing where you you throw out one grab. You have to throw out like one or two more. Okay, interesting play right now. Oh, good. Mm. That was. <laughs> I have no idea what Kels tried to do there, but that was pretty intense. Okay. Hmm. Dead? Oh, wow. Living. Oh, okay, you just went for a read instead of uh, RQC. On the top platform, it's a little bit, it's a little bit weird to go for the RTC there. I feel I would have honestly just gone for a check chase up there, and then just uh, went for the rest after that one. But I definitely respect the hustle going for the read. Okay, so when Fox is on the side plat like this, uh, let me go to the exact spot so it's a little bit easier. Let me go to Siren Stage because this is where I, I feel like we're okay, right here. I would personally either shark with a short hop up air, wait for Fox to come down, uh, like full hop away, and then punish it this way. Or to see as a myth on Dreamland sometimes. Yeah, I agree, especially on the top lat. But I think in that position, I would have just gone for an up air and then tried to rest again. If I couldn't get the rest again, I would probably just land on the top platform and then uh, just pray that I get the right read. <laughs> Because I feel like it's pretty hard to get a rest in that position. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, I would have definitely done a short hop up air here. Uh, to try and like just shark fox. You can do this like if you know he's going to come here. Or if you just want to react to see what he does after. Like if he does a dash against the platform, you can't like obviously short hop that. Because uh, he can probably try and come down and just like then you're in shield. Or like you had to roll away and you're getting up neutral. Like... Obviously, you can't do the, the read every time, so I would just do a reaction where I just will hop away. And if they come down with a nair, just back air it or whatever. You can also probably go on the ground, but two, again, that's just kind of the same thing with doing up air. It's kind of a read. Because if you're on the ground, you're trying to grab it, grab their landing, either uh, grab their spot dodge after their aerial or whatever. But yeah, I would either do the reaction, is full hop away, or do the read with the up air. I think the read with the up air is. A little bit harder to do every time but fair obviously was not the option that i was thinking of another one of those full hop forwards again it's not i think it's pretty bad uh versus most characters nice uh force smash on second place it's hard at this percent too yeah okay oh uh, dude i don't know what these uh f tilts are trying to I feel like there's been so many opportunities for you to actually shield grab bad aerials and you shield grab expecting to, to see a bad aerial and you don't shield grab the bad like that was the second aerial that i've seen that was like bad I, but you didn't shield grab it like you hesitated almost which is really weird because i saw that one on battlefield 2 with the drill and i was just i don't know Like, I think you should not read a bad aerial. I think you should expect a bad aerial. Okay. 
a little bit weird neutral. I think after like thirty, after bear and fair not, starts knocking down, I think you should not do pound, like at all almost. I guess if you hard read, you can do it, but I think it's like really just not worth it risk reward wise. Because if your aerials start knocking down, like why are you using pound? You know, like when back air is just so good comparatively, it's a lot uh, less risky. Nice pound there though, show booked. Ooh. I feel like you haven't you're giving him too much respect at the ledge. I think you could have definitely um drilled drill grabbed some of these stocks or just backered them back onto the ledge a few times. That's unlucky. Obviously holding down on jab is what you're supposed to do. Pound does give me dopamine, I agree. Especially when you pound Fox is dashing into the corner. That gives me a lot of dopamine for sure. But yeah, you know, it's, it's not correct every time. Ooh, jab F tilt, interesting. What is going on? I have no idea how you just took 73 damage, but you did. Okay, you're just showing off that you can pound, that you can do that roll up. Oh, what? What? This is pain. Okay, so like I. We haven't gotten to the situation where the fox spans the, the the falling upper, but when they spam this falling upper, I would definitely do um I'll smash out a shield, especially at this percent, because grab's a little bit riskier in my head, uh, and if you're not gonna get that much off the grab, like yeah, you could probably get an edge guard, but I feel like going for an I'll smash out a shield here is less risky because it's a reaction, uh, a read really. I would do an I'll smash out a shield and then I would uh, try and shark the landing. What was Kel's doing? <laughs> How do you go for that shine with so much confidence? That was insane. Okay, we just got some. We got another last lock 70% situation. Kind of the same thing. Oh, the grab! Aww, that was a pounder and up there. Uh, I don't think you could have actually, mm, if you were fast, I think you could have gotten a short hop, but uh, up air there, short hop, fast fall up air, maybe, I don't know, it's weird, you might have been able to, but either way, obviously, fair isn't the right move, because you didn't DI far enough away where uh, you can't get anything, well, uh, you can get a, a back air on even the farthest away DI, right, but, yeah. Yeah, it definitely looked doable if you acted faster, I agree. But yeah, now that uh, Ariel's knocked down, I hope we don't see any grabs. <laughs> Even though, oh, never mind, that was a sick grab. Ah! What's going on? Oh my god, are we gonna see another falling up here? I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get tilted if I see another one. Aw, oh, damn. That sucks. When, I feel like that's the only time he's actually come down with a full hop back here. This entire set somehow. Wow. Um, but yeah. Overall during that set, the things I noticed personally, like my takeaways were definitely autopilot uh, grab setups. You were doing a lot of them. I would say low damage, you weren't you weren't really there wasn't a lot of direction in your neutral, if that makes sense. Like I would say you weren't using like a lot of nair, which I think is really good, like full hop nair. I'm talking about short hop nair isn't that good. But it's I man, it's okay. But it's not like the preferred option. And then um, what else? Where else was I going with that? Oh yeah, short hop auto cancel backer. It's obviously really good. Uh, the fade away. Uh, you can do also do the short hop fast L cancel uh, backer when you do the like really like low hitbox of the backer. So it looks like it literally looks like a, like this where it's like that far away. <laughs> uh, that one's pretty good at low damage. It's pretty hard to punish. But, I don't know. I, I th And then, uh, what else was I going to say? I would say the on-shield interactions were pretty uh, were pretty scary, for sure. I think there was a lot of times where you could have either way dash out a shield, 
uh, to try and get like some grabs or some forward smashes, uh, up smash out shields in certain situations, and then I would just say, like, definitely when you're like, along with the grabs, but kind of in a similar vein when you're doing the like shield grabs, you're kind of like reading the hard area, the reading the bad aerial versus like reacting to it. But yeah, uh. Because because you were just grabbing like, you're grabbing them expecting to do a bad aerial when they haven't even done aerial on shield. Yeah, uh, that was not a bad set. You definitely looked pretty solid uh, on edge guards and stuff, uh, majority of the time, and you had some good punishes. So honestly, it was really just mostly neutral and uh, defense from my perspective, for sure. But yeah. Um, <sighs> Thanks for